Welcome. Build as an Ask Anything session, it doesn't take long for this meeting of the menopause chicks to get right into it. I'm curious which hormone deals with which symptoms. Estrogen can address night sweats. It can address sleep difficulties. To be talking about a frank discussion is exactly what Shirley Weir was looking for when she started experiencing anxiety, depression, sleep deprivation, and brain fog, some classic symptoms of perimenopause. She was disappointed with her doctor's response. She said, oh, you're 41, you're too young for menopause, but if you want to go on the birth control pill or take sleeping pills or I can prescribe an antidepressant. A recent study by the BC Women's Health Foundation found one third of the women surveyed felt their health care needs weren't being met. Nearly 60% of those 45 to 54 said a physician had overlooked or diminished their symptoms, including those associated with menopause. It's almost as if when women are aging that they don't matter. Dr. Wendy Wolfman teaches family physicians at the University of Toronto. She says it can be hard to have long conversations with patients. Physicians feel they're not compensated for their time. It's time that we as mature women spoke up for ourselves and demanded that this is an important area of health care. So we help women. Shirley uh, Weir is know, doing just that. that menopause, menopause chicks that recently hit 12,000 members. The best way that we can empower women is to uh, give them quality education and information. We're going to talk a little bit just quickly about pelvic floor fitness and in particular Kegels. So this member appreciates the information and second. support. It's kept me sane. I have to be honest, it kept me sane. Is there benefit? Learning which questions to ask and where to get answers, taking control of their own health. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Vancouver.